Hello, um, I have two questions. Um, one out of pure curiosity, the other one, well, let's get into a debate, hopefully. Um, I was brought up Catholic, very strict Catholic. I am considering myself a Christian because I live in the way Jesus advised, which was, wow, wonderful. And to quote Gandhi, I like your Christ. I do not like your Christians. They are so unlike your Christ. So although Jesus was not the Son of God, um, and if he even existed, whoever made up, you know, the golden rule, like, uh, great, I'll follow it. I think everybody should, okay? So those who aren't deluded by the invisible man in the sky, um, this is for you. Um, those on the fence, sure. Um, anybody who... Uh, is against me, um, feel free to um, chime in with a well thought out, educated argument that I accept that. Um, I know I'm always learning, so I will accept anything that is, um, I guess, friendly is the best way to put it, okay? So, okay. My first question is this. Um, as I said, I was raised strict Catholic. I went to a Catholic elementary school. Thankfully, there wasn't any um, high school within an hour of my little town. And, uh, gosh, doesn't anyone else think that religious schools should just not exist, should not be legal, um, are inadequate, are brainwashing um they are they i know mine at least i can't speak for anybody else's um put me way behind the other kids when i got to public school i was a straight a student but we spent mornings on the bible um wednesdays i think we had a couple hours for social sciences and i think we had science um English, reading, of course, you know, math, of course. Um, cause you gotta have to read the Bible, you know. So, um, I get to seventh grade, and I am very, very lacking, especially for a straight A student. And besides that, I was completely not only brainwashed at my parents' place, at church, but also at school, and the people I was surrounded by were also brainwashed. And uh, besides just being cruel, um, if you want to look at it objectionally and not emotionally, which I can, um, I want to know out there if anybody else attended a Catholic school or some sort of religious school that spent Fridays in the gym singing Jesus Loves Me and about three hours a day on anything not related to the Bible. Um, and if maybe we can do something about this, because um, we believed in the Easter Bunny, or at least I did, and Santa Claus, and all these things that people consider ridiculous um, back then. I mean, kindergarten through sixth grade. Um, I went home every night in did my little Hail Marys and Our Fathers and beg God's forgiveness because I had actually thought for a split second, this doesn't sound right. Oh no, I questioned. Oh, that's a sin. And that's basically was my elementary education. Um, we had gym once a week. Um, we got to wear jeans that day. And I really, I really do, don't have anything good to say about it and I try to be a positive person. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear anyone else's experiences. And while I'm at it, um, I'm still recovering, so if there's anyone recovered out there, um, any tips, please. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my curiosity question, it kind of, I delved into already, but I, don't you think it's, shouldn't even be legal to introduce religion to somebody until they're 18 and they're cognitive and uh, able to supposedly decide on their own when they're presented with 
um, evidence, facts, nothing that religion has, but whatever. You know, um, two different options, you know, their choice. Not, as I said, when you're so young, you believe everything your parents say. Um, Easter Bunny hops and leaves. I didn't even get eggs and I believe in the Easter Bunny. And, geez, and oh, sorry, Jesus, Santa came down my chimney, whatever. We never swept it. And, and there was nothing ever missing. And I, my parents said so, so I believed them, you know. Um, uh, gosh, I mean... If you're gonna like make people wait till they're 18 to do a lot of things, I mean, you still can't even drink at 18, really. Um, not that you think, well, that's another side, but the Catholics are huge alcoholics, and probably the reason they can stay deluded so easily. And my point is. Isn't, I think it's cruel, I, I really, I, but I'm trying to stay object, objective here, and to introduce somebody to a religion at an age when they're able to reason and make decisions on their own, at least legally, uh, usually younger, I, I myself um, questioned constantly. I mean, none of it made sense to me. None of it. And finally, uh, just, just, I, I just never really had um, an epiphany. I just became comfortable without having religion in my life constantly and ever, really. Um, and then I became um, educated, actually. I studied um, history of the time and what the, um, the expert historians on the subject believed. I read um, what had been interpreted of the Lost Sea Scrolls. Um, gosh, I was 25. I was able to do that, you know. I was able to look at both and see for myself, hey, um, I was right. Um, I'm not being a stubborn little rebellious brat. And anyone? Because <laughs> I know there are churches that should have their tax rights taken away or non tax or their tax exempt rights just taken away because they clearly violate not being political. And we could solve a deficit with that, you know. Um, that alone, but, and then you come to think of all these children who get a very lacking education as it is in this country, I mean, we're very dumbed down, and then you confuse them with fairy tales, and then throw in another one and say, this is the truth, and if you don't believe it, something's wrong with you, and 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 to stay objective, and there I go, being emotional again, um, but objectively, I think if Scientology, for instance, um, I bet I could get about 80% of the population to say, yeah, they should have to wait till they're 18 to, for their parents to make them believe that. Um, any thoughts, anyone, um, especially um, anyone who might want to become active, uh, get the word out. Just mention it to your friends. Just get a debate going. Like People don't think about these things, really. Um, a lot of people, <laughs> luckily, weren't raised um, with these crazy ideas, you know. Um, so they don't really understand. And, um, the Catholic guilt or oh, disappointing your parents knowing your mom's praying for you every Sunday at church while she's in the Eucharistic minister because you're going to go to hell um, your aunt's going to the other side of the church because um, the priest stopped oh, first it was they wouldn't take the Eucharist in their hands 
because that was a sin and then the Eucharistic ministers came along so they went to the other side of the church and then the poor priest would go to the other side what do I mean poor priest whatever um, poor boys he was molesting um, actually I have a PS to this who thinks the Pope should still be in jail um, who thinks they shouldn't he shouldn't actually with a thought out reasonable educated response please um, as Bill Maher said um, I have to paraphrase but if the CEO of a major international child care organization um, was just moving um, workers around that were molesting children and not telling people at the next place he'd be in jail, uh, probably facing lethal injection or whatever by you uh, Christian people who don't believe in that stuff, supposedly. Oh, oh yeah, and pro-life, that's a good one, too. Yeah, um, go, go keep killing those doctors, and that's the mean thing I'm going to say, because I know you're not all that crazy. Um, a lot of you just have a hard time admitting that your parents were wrong or all everybody was wrong or you were wrong even so um I do wish you the best and um that you may do onto others as you would like them to do onto you so I hope you all have a great fall and a great winter solstice thank you